Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to talk to you about how to film yourself on the paraglider. So if you are trying to figure out ways to film yourself on the paraglider and how to mount your contraptions on the harness, I got here the solutions. I have prepared for you different contraptions and mounts that you can use as well. Some of them are obvious, some of them I really had to work out, especially on one, to build it from different pieces, so it was really cheap but it's very easy to do so. Just now in a bit I'm going to walk you through and show you everything what I am using. Oh, and a quick side note guys. If you'd like to help me to reach 250 subscribers by the end of this year, it would be really awesome. So if you enjoyed this video and it is helpful for you, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Okay, so let's start with the first contraption that I had to build from different pieces. I'm going to show you how I did it. So let us go in my paragliding room. Let us go to this first mount. This is actually one piece of device that I had in a box of different contraptions that I bought from Amazon for 20 euros so not just this piece alone was 20 euros but a bunch of them I'm going to drop the links in the description below from everything what I am using or at least I'm trying to find that let me show you what I did to fix it here on this carabiner and what I continue doing to be able to attach something else to it. This piece was individual and I thought hey how about I attach it to this piece. So they are basically made for the bicycles. You can attach it to your to the bars of the bicycle right to the frame in order for you to be able to fix your GoPro and film yourself. So I took this one piece I slide it through and I put the screw inside. Everywhere on the harness when you're trying to fix this mount is not working or anywhere else because everything is bendy you know the harness is bendy and it would every time have a wobbly image when you're trying to film yourself so I decided to fix it on the carabiner and I'm going to show you right now how I'm doing it here are two screws on this side you have the open part of the screw so you can just pop it out and now it's open so what you want to do is now to take this that's one screw out and put it inside just like that over the carabiner as you see and you take back the screw and you fix it back in it's very easy to pop it in so it's, you can you can see this immediately when you're trying to do it yourself okay so as you see I have here I'm going to come close to the camera for you to be able to see properly you have this one piece that I showed you before this is the additional piece that I had to screw it in no movement up and down there is everything just closed right in, in place it's not moving and that's for me the most important thing because I don't want to have a wobbly image when I'm filming myself on the paraglider. So once you have this attached, these two pieces together, we can come now to the gooseneck. This gooseneck is a very useful tool, but to be honest, it doesn't really look to me like a gooseneck, but more like a <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> let me just slide it in here. This is going to move up and down, but it doesn't matter at all because you can bend this neck anytime you want, right? So when you are flying in your paraglider you are sitting here right in this position and you have basically the GoPro right on top of this gooseneck and you can move it the way you want where you want problem solved that's it Ta -da! that's the way you would basically film yourself look at this isn't this a beauty so your head is right here right like this and the camera is just filming you in the air hands-free nice perspective different way and very cheap this is really going to fit every carabiner that is out there on the paraglider you have to bend this first down when you're taking off because of line tangling you don't want any lines to tangle inside your uh, contraption here when you are especially reverse launching so that's why you can start with it like this everything moving down just like that you see when you have already a bit of altitude and you are away from the mountain, you can just bend it back in the right position. It's taking just really a few seconds. It doesn't require too much attention. And once you have fixed it the way you want it, that's how you can leave it. But before we go to the next mount, let me show you, because some of you guys asked how and where I am uh, fixing my uh, sky tracks. I have this uh, 15 bucks strap, this metal strap that is also bendy, and this Velcro fastener. So. What I am doing is basically this. I am taking this loop, this cord, and pulling it through the belt here, right? There is a little strap 
between the carabiner on my right side and the rest of the strap. So I am just opening the velcro fastener right here and I am pulling it behind, as you see, behind this strap here. And I'm just pulling it all the way through, all the way down, and just fixing it to the back of the Velcro, right here. And this metal part, it's bendy, so I can either go in the front or go more in the back, push it towards me, you know, the way I want. Because when you're taking your final position in the air and you're flying, everything kind of levels in a different way than when you are standing like this. Now we go to the next ones. There is as well the easiest way to film yourself, which is a helmet camera. I know that's a very controversial topic because of the safety. And I have to tell you some words also about it. It is for sure not the safest way to film yourself in terms of line tangling danger. Doesn't mean that it is a bad idea. Like, of course, it's the easiest way technically to film yourself but is apparently not the safest one. If you have a um, side collapse or a full frontal collapse or whatever, you know, in a paraglider and some of the lines are getting tangled in your mount, those mounts are so strong, this glue, that is not anymore able to rip apart, to break it, to each their own, I would say. I usually try to film myself without putting my camera on the helmet, but, you know, even with the gooseneck, everything can basically be a danger, right? A camera on a paraglider could be a danger. Many things in life can be dangerous, right? If not done properly. So, it's a gray zone, I would say. So you have to decide for yourself. I'm not telling you use a GoPro on your helmet or do what I am doing. I'm just telling you that you have to be very careful and you have to be able to control your glider pretty well. As an alternative, I would suggest you to use the head strap. You can still use it on top of your helmet in case your lines are going to tangle in this GoPro here. It is not glued to your helmet. The camera would be in the same position like before. So yeah, that's a, that's a safe alternative if you want to use it. Then we have the tripod. You have bendy legs. You can secure them to the harness of your paraglider just the way you want. You can bend them just the way you want. So that's also a nice way if you are trying to secure your camera somewhere on your harness. I would suggest you though to use a gooseneck or what I just showed you before but you can also use this if you want and you can film yourself even when you are flying you have to make sure that you are safe that the other pilots are safe while you are filming yourself like this and you can also have shots of you taking off maybe if you put it on the grass and you film yourself just don't take off because you might have to recover it first then we have the selfie stick the reason why I like this tool a lot is because I have the chance to film myself from different perspectives I can unfold it I am usually filming myself with a selfie stick when I am in a free, clear airspace and I'm not disturbing no other pilots. You need to be uh, careful when you're flying because you have to take care, you know, on how you fly first of all and then uh, secondary on how you're filming yourself. But this can give you some nice footage. You can film yourself between the lines, you can film yourself from below, from above, from side to side. If you want to film yourself, like maybe you have seen different pilots doing this on YouTube, from the front of view, I know there might be a contraption somehow where they twist, where they just screw this thing inside, the selfie stick. If you guys know how to do that, uh, other than the way I'm going to tell you the way I do it, let me know. What I used to do is I'm just taking the stick just like that, I am just unfolding it, and putting it right between my legs here. I just have to stand up a bit like this, you know, on my, on my harness and push it right between my legs. The other thing that I am doing, which is quite innovative for me and I have not seen nobody else doing it, is to push the backside of the selfie stick in that uh, little compartment if you want to say so, where the water tube comes in. Every harness has that, or I guess so, where it's written the H2O or the little water droplet. I am having it closed in my harness and I just have to do this movement while I'm flying and unscrew like this and like this and then I can just pull and I can secure it back, I can close it back because I have trained already, I can, I can do that. 
but um, you should try first before you are in the air to, to unfold it. And the last but not least, I have a cool idea what I used in my previous videos when I was in South Tyrol. What I did is that I attached the GoPro to my shoes. So what you need for that, one of this and one of those, you slide it together in just like that. It's either you have paragliding shoes and you don't really care so much. You can use uh, these sticky parts, you know, that you can apply here and then you can stick it in front of your shoe just like that. Or if you don't have it or you don't want to stick something to your shoes that you eventually cannot take it off anymore, you can just use the shoelaces right here and secure this between the shoelaces while you're tying your shoes, tie it tightly. Then you can just slide in the GoPro here and anytime you want, you can just stretch your foot and film yourself, just like that. Again, gives some interesting footage. Yeah, that's also a cool idea. Okay, so we spoke so far about these ways to film yourself on the paraglider. There are also, of course, alternatives, like for example, the Skybeam chase camera. But the reason why I'm not using a chase camera on a paraglider is because I am trying to minimize as much as possible the resistance, the air resistance. Even though this is so, so light, it's still attached to a string to my paraglider and it's slowing down my glider. So that's why I'm not really using it. Maybe in the future, maybe I really want to use it as well and I'm going to give it a shot. And then of course we have this, what we see all over the internet, the 360 degrees camera. What I don't like about this 360 degrees camera is that it gives a very freaking fake footage. You have the, the, the feeling that you watch a movie on a green screen, a poorly made movie on a green screen. So that's why I'm not a fan of a 360 degree camera and I'm not using it. I cannot say for sure if I'm going to ever use it in the future, but for now I am really not the fan of it. I would rather have three cameras on me when I am flying and film myself from different perspectives, but the 360 degrees camera looks, the footage looks just too fake to me and I don't really like it. But that's my opinion. Okay guys, so I walked you now through all the mounts that I know and all the mounts that I am using. If you have other ideas, let me know in the comment section below. I would really appreciate. You just have to try and see what works best for you. I just gave you some advice. I showed you what works best for me. So it's all up to you now how you want to incorporate in your flight. So if you found any meaningful information in this video and I could help you out a bit, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Give me a big thumbs up. That helps me a lot and I really appreciate it. And as always, fly with passion, stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye.